Section 8.6, Special Quadrilaterals. This final section for Chapter 8 is basically a summary of everything we've looked at so far. We're going to summarize the characteristics of properties and compare them between parallelograms, rectangle, rhombus, square, kite, and trapezoid. Well, first let's construct a flowchart that shows you how the hierarchy of these quadrilaterals work. First of all, we start knowing that we are working with a polygon with four sides which is called a quadrilateral. That is the most broad, all-encompassing term that we have. Quadrilateral, polygon with four sides. Every shape that we've studied this chapter has been a quadrilateral. From there, we can either have both pairs of opposite sides be parallel, and I'll write out parallel, in which case we have a parallelogram. Or we could have one pair of opposite sides parallel. And only one. In which case we have a trapezoid. Or, we can have two pairs of consecutive, congruent sides where opposite sides are not congruent. And this gives us a kite. And with a kite, we do not have any pairs of parallel lines. So for quadrilateral, we can have both pairs of opposite sides parallel. That gives us a parallelogram. We can have only one pair, which gives us a trapezoid. Or we can have no pairs. And we do have two pairs of consecutive congruent sides. And that gives us a kite. From there, we can break up the parallelogram. We could have an equilateral parallelogram where all sides are congruent, and that gives us a rhombus. Or we can have an equiangular parallelogram, where all angles are congruent, and in fact, 90 degree angles. That gives us a rectangle. If our shape is both equilateral and equiangular, so we have a regular quadrilateral, that shape is called a square. Okay. So that does it for parallelograms. A square is our most specific. It's a type of both a rectangle and a rhombus. And it's a type of parallelogram, which is a type of quadrilateral. Trapezoid. We have a special trapezoid where we have legs congruent. And this is called an isosceles trapezoid. And we didn't look at any special types of kites, so we're done there. There are all the shapes that we've studied. Square, rhombus, rectangle, isosceles, trapezoid, parallelogram, trapezoid, kite, quadrilateral. Next, we're going to look at the properties of these particular quadrilaterals.